Sono la gatta sul tetto e rubo il vento per me. Ok, as you put into your suite, you'll see that there is a uh, makeup mirror. Morning. The bathroom has been greatly improved. They now have this um, sink that has two very nice uh, sinks in it, so you can be side by side. Also, there's a full bathtub. This bathtub is actually large enough for large people to actually take a bath in without getting stuck. Then there's a full-size shower. And the shower has the normal accoutrements, which would be a regular head up there. You can select the flow of your water from either a shower head or from the handheld, which is down here. Cabin space, we have a little cabinet where they keep all of the extra um, glasses and amenities that come with the suite itself, which is right next to the bathtub. And behind me is the, the main mirror and the sinks. So this makeup area replaces the little desk that was in the last one. Also there is a there's a nice plug here, both 110. One of the improvements on this new one is that the entrance to the bathroom is by the front cabin door and the closet, which is here, they're all separated from the bedroom so you can open the door into the bathroom in the middle of the night without lighting up the whole bedroom. All of the drawers, it's equipped with a safe, but all of the drawers have got little cushioning action so as you push them back in they're softened as they close so that you're not hearing slamming drawers from the cabin next door. Plenty of hang up, it's a walk-in closet, lots of room to store things. You can hang your ties and belts on the loops on the left. Beds are very comfortable. These are modular tables next to the beds so that you can either put it together in a single bed or you can create space between by putting one of the tables in between like we've done. And then at the foot of the beds, there are additional uh, cabinet spaces for storage of clothes. And here we have television television set, which has uh, got a digital system on it, so you can check your bill, select movies, etc. And down here are additional drawers for clothing storage. I've done away with the standard table that sets up for room service and they've replaced it with this little footstool that they actually move the footstool out they will bring the food in set the tray on there and then set up this table here for room service which is very nice and more comfortable than the other way and there's a couch with all of the small pillows and things that you would use balcony is nice it has a light so you can turn it on at night each of these chairs, we put our luggage out there temporarily, but uh, each of these chairs has a little footstool underneath that can be used in different directions, so you can use it as a footstool, or you can turn your chair into a chaise lounge. And the glass that's on the front of the balcony, very easy to see through, and the stewardesses keep it clean, so you've got a nice view all the time. The room is separated into two parts. The part the little bedroom part you can pull curtains across like this if you care to have somebody sit out here on the couch while the other individual is sleeping so that's kind of nice overall it's an improvement over the smaller ships as far as the cabin size and they've thought about it and uh, also there's an additional power outlets right down here next to the TV set so there's a lot more storage not storage, but uh, charging space, so you can actually charge your computers and cameras, etc. There's more outlets for that. Here we have the an additional outlet for more storage or more or charging, and then down here 
is your little mini refrigerator which holds whatever you want it to hold. In our case, Diet Cokes and water. 